Hello, I'm Michael Diamond, and you're watching Muscle Central. Okay, in this uh, video, I'll be talking about Sean Roden and whether he can get a fair trial. Before I get into that, uh, let me give you my personal opinion on this whole situation. I mean, I wasn't there. I in the room with them, so I can't say anything for sure, but there are a few things that don't quite sit right with me. Now, uh, this woman, uh, she's a competitor. According to what we were told in the beginning, Sh Sean was uh, mentoring her, or coaching her, or something to that effect. And she's going to see him for some last-minute advice before the competition. It's not uncommon for an athlete and his coach to meet. They're going to meet up during before the competition. Uh, now, did she have to go to his hotel room? Well, you can make an argument that uh, if he's coaching her in any capacity and it's give her some last-minute uh, tips what to do in the remaining hours before the contest, uh, might want to look at her physique and assess what needs to be done. So you might want to do that in private. You're not going to strip down to your competition uh, outfit in a public place. So that could explain her going up to his hotel room. But this woman, she had a photographer that was tagging along with her, documenting in pictures her journey to this competition. To this competition. Now, if you have a photographer with you documenting your journey leading up to the competition. Why wouldn't you have that photographer with you when you're sitting down, sitting down with your coach or mentor or whatever for some last minute advice? The photographer was with this woman, but remained downstairs in the lobby. To me, that's, uh, something's not, doesn't sit right with me with that whole scenario. And then, if you also look at this woman's past, uh, I don't know the, the details, but uh, she was involved in some, with some legal issues involving some sort of business scam. So, if you put all, all those things together, uh, it can leave you questioning the validity of the accusation. Now to the heart of the video, whether he can get a fair trial. This took place in the state of Utah. Utah is a Mormon state. Uh, the woman that's accusing him is a Mormon. A white woman accusing this black man. Now, uh, I must say there's no black Mormons, but uh, he's supposed to have a jury of his peers. To uh, find a black Mormon is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's not going to be very easy. So you have this white woman who's a Mormon accusing this black man. He's not, and he's not just any black man. He's a very large black man. And he uses steroids. And we all know about that stigma attached to steroids. It turns you into this raging maniac. So that all fits into their uh, little scheme of things. Utah, a Mormon state, the judge is going to is almost certainly going to be a Mormon. Also, the prosecutor almost certainly is going to be a Mormon also. And like I said, he want, he's supposed to have a jury of his peers. Uh, it's 
pretty uh, likely that they're going to be all white uh, people on the jury, and they're going to be most likely all Mormons. Uh, It's hard to to believe that under that circumstance, under those circumstances, that he can get a fair trial. I mean, I'm not saying it's totally impossible for him to get a fair trial, but it's not not a good situation. It does not look very good for him. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. Now, his best uh, best case scenario is if he doesn't even go to trial, if the charges are eventually dropped, uh, if the woman uh, decides not to proceed with it, uh, if she's pulling some sort of scam, uh, and she's trying to get some sort of monetary settlement out of him, maybe, uh, before it gets to the point of no return, maybe she will drop the charges, but if she doesn't, and this goes to trial, white, white Mormon woman, Big black man using steroids facing in court a Mormon judge, a Mormon prosec- uh, prosecutor, a Mormon jurors, and he ac- and he accuser is a Mormon. Uh, I hope things work out well for him. I personally have a lot of doubts in whether the accusations are true, but if you look at the whole picture, things do not look all that good for Sean Roden. Okay, if uh, you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Once again, this is Michael Diamond and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.